Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a chatty get ready with me style video. I am heading off to my husband's little sister's choir concert tonight and I don't wanna look like butt shit. So I decided I'm going to put on a face of makeup and just chat about life and some things that I have been liking lately and just, just things in general. So we're just gonna get into the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. I am almost at 400,000 subscribers. I literally can't believe it. I am like, just looking at the number every day, like how is this real, how is this real? If you are a subscriber of mine, wow, wow, thank you so much. It really means the world. It's the most surreal feeling. My sister was talking to me about it this morning. She's like, how does it feel? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> how it feels, it feels insane. And if you guys aren't following me on all my other social media stuff, you guys can sure do that if you'd like to. Everything is Rob Beauty Christy. So Instagram and Twitter, that's them. And let's get into this chatty get ready with me style video. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this first. Um, this is the Josie Maron Argon Milk and I bought this from Sephora recently because I used the Sunday Riley Tidal face cream. I broke out so badly and some people were like, oh, that's your skin purging. Don't worry, that happens. I don't think that's what this was because I broke out in like tiny little bumps all over my forehead. Probably like, probably realistically, there was like 20 bumps on my forehead. Um, I had a bunch of pimples right here on my chin and I started getting pimples right here on my cheeks and that is a very uncommon area means to say I almost have never had a pimple on this area of my face before it's almost always right on my chin and so many people were like give it a chance give it a chance and I'm like absolutely not <laughs> I am not gonna screw around with weeks of shitty skin just to like hopefully try some skincare so I back in the day when I first started my YouTube channel if you guys have been with me for a really long time I tried a sample of the Josie Maron Argon Milk, which is basically like argon oil shot inside of water. They like infuse the two and it's like this milky, creamy consistency, you can see. My little sample size maybe lasted seven days and after the seven days, my skin looked incredible. And I was in shock. So I immediately went and bought one. This is like $56. Every time I've ever had to purchase this, I like throw up in my mouth a little bit. That's not too bad for skincare if I'm being honest, but I don't see anyone talking about this ever. So I went back to it because I thought, okay, what did my skin used to like? And I was like, Argon Milk. It was always so amazing. It's just minimal ingredients and my skin really likes it. So I was broken out so bad on my forehead. I had about 20 to 30 little red bumps all over my forehead that I wouldn't call them pimples necessarily. I mean, they, they seem like they were, but at the same time, they were like a reaction. I le left my skin alone. I was washing it gently. And then I put on the Josie Marin Argon Milk. And when I woke up the next day, my skin was like 50% smoother. It's looking so much better. And each day I've been using this, still cleansing with my BioClarity cleanser that I always, since I talked about it in the past, I still use that in my Clarisonic and then now I'm using the Josie Marin Argon Milk. I stopped using the Clinique Moisture Surge even though my skin seemed to be fine with it. I I wasn't that happy about the fact that it was like full of silicone and I wanted something a little less chemically to be putting on my skin and this is so amazing. So anyway, whatever argon oil is, I don't even freaking know man, but it's so good and this used to be like legit my holy grail for years. We're back baby. This is why it's so amazing to have subscribers and commenters that are leaving helpful information because one of you guys said that I was actually damaging my skin because what I was doing was removing my makeup with the Clarisonic. And they were saying because the Clarisonic like pulsates things out of your pores, you're pulsating makeup into them. And so what I was doing is like putting makeup remover on, removing it with the Clarisonic and then doing a second cleanse with the Clarisonic. Now what I'm doing is removing my full makeup with like a cleanser and like a makeup Makeup remover wiping that completely off and then going in with my cleanser and the Clarisonic from my subscriber she was like I had little bumps all over my skin when I was doing that because I was pushing stuff into my skin bitch me too uh, that's why it's so amazing to talk to you guys and like have a community instead of just having me talking at you you guys give me information that truly helps me so thank you so much this makeup is going to be very similar to my full face testing out 500 worth of hourglass makeup because that's pretty much what i'm going to use today i have this stuff i want to keep testing it so if you guys want to watch that video and you haven't yet it is up here or you can watch it twice you know back to 400,000 subscribers you know it's so funny because when i started off on youtube i was fascinated with people who would get to a certain amount of subscribers or have a lot of following and they seemed so normal about it. They were like, just like normal. And I used to, every time a large YouTuber would do a Q and A, I remember a question I would always ask would be like, how does it feel 
does to have that many followers? Like, how do you feel? And they're always like, it's, it's crazy. And I'm like, that's not a good enough answer for me. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to tell me like, how does it make you feel? And they'd be like, it's, it's just crazy. And so I always was like, God, people don't appreciate their subscribers. They don't know what, they don't know how lucky they are. And now that it's me, I'm like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just nuts. I can't even explain it. It doesn't feel real. I don't know why me. I don't know why you guys even subscribe to TBA. But I appreciate each and every one of you. And it means the absolute world to me to have a group of people that aren't just people that I consider to be like my subscribers. Like I feel like you guys are my friends and I know we don't know each other and that isn't a reality. Like we, we don't know each other, but I feel like you guys are more than just people that watch me on the internet. I really read the comments and respect what you guys say. I hope that in a lot of ways I have changed as a person because I used to just be so uncultured. I didn't know fucking anything about anything. Grew up in a really small town and I just feel like as a person, I and being on the internet has helped me so much to learn a lot about the world and different walks of life. I just really feel like I have the most amazing group of subscribers out there who have a sense of humor and can mess around with one another but still keep it classy and keep it respectful and I feel like you guys are just really nice people and I feel like, I don't know, I just really really enjoy this YouTube community so much and really hope it stays around for a long time because it is amazing to know that there are people supporting you that you've never met and it's so amazing too when I finally do meet you guys. It really brings it into reality. Like you know that there are people out there watching, had conversations with them online, but like meeting people in person, God, it's such a different experience. That was the uh, Vanish Stick Foundation. This is going to be the Illum Sheer Trio. I'm gonna use it again. But meeting people in person, like if, whenever somebody comes up to me out in public and I am able to meet them, it's so strange because I've never met them before, but they know things about me. This has happened more than once where I'll meet somebody and I'll introduce them to my husband. I'll be like, this is my husband, Zach. And they're like, oh my God, I know. And that I and mother. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. It's so weird. You know me and my family and like my my day-to-day -day life but I don't even know your name. <laughs> it's so weird. I never could have imagined myself in this position. I remember like those moments where you have these conversations years ago, like I keep those things banked in my memory. So I remember when I started my YouTube channel, was chatting with my old boss, Andy. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on because I kind of liked the way that it looked the other day. And my husband complimented me on my makeup like 25 times, so I'm like doing it the same. Um, I was chatting with my old boss and this is before I started my YouTube channel. And he was asking me, what are your long-term plans? Because I was working at a veterinary hospital and he was like, you know, what are your long-term plans and goals? And I was like, well, I am going to start a YouTube channel. And I hadn't started it yet. This was maybe like five years ago. And he was like, oh, really? Do you think that that's going to like pan out for you? I said like, I'm going to just try really hard at YouTube. And I never could have imagined I would be in this position. I remember at Avery's second birthday, I had 13,000 subscribers and Avery is six now. So it, it's taken a while. Like people ask me all the time, like what are, what are the tips? And it's like work, work hard and put out content and hopefully it'll happen for you. I don't know like fast tips cause it, it wasn't fast for me, you know? And it's still, I'm not like in the millions of subscribers. I'm, I'm just happy with what I've got right now. I remember being at 13,000 subscribers and my friend was talking to me about that. She was like, that is so crazy. Now to think that there are 400 thousand people is honestly just like, it's mind blowing to me. So from when I did my hourglass video the other day, so many of you were telling me you need to use the hourglass um, champagne flash highlighter stick with your finger. And I was like, oh, cause it was sliding around my foundation. So I'm gonna try that today and see if it makes a difference. But anyway, I, I don't wanna like waffle on and on for 10 years. I just wanted to say like, you don't even understand like you guys subscribing, you staying, you watching, you commenting. I know this is said all the time, but you guys have truly changed my life. And I know that that's like such a cliche thing to hear because I feel like so many YouTubers talk about that, but I wish you could understand what what that even means. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm just a broken record. You've changed my life and 
even though it's only, you know, only 400,000 subscribers in the grand scheme of things, like that is not a small number to me. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will always strive to be the best me that I can be. And even if I've ever disappointed you in the past or you found that you don't like me or I've said something that I shouldn't have said, like I will always try to do better and do the best that I can. And I feel like that's enough cheesiness. I've, I've had enough. I'm not doing some like crazy makeup look for tonight because I'm going to a child's choir concert. I just feel like that whole rant I just went on and like thanking you guys and crying myself to sleep over it was so cringy. God, it's just like insane. I wish I could thank each one of you individually. I wanna do a meet and greet and I was talking to somebody. Tell me if you guys, I know I've talked to you about this in the past, but um, this is a reality that hopefully we can get going in like the next few months. I'm not exactly sure how this will go, but tell me if any of you guys are in the area and would come. So I was chatting with a company and I'm I, I'm not going to say which company it is yet because it's not set in stone yet. They were saying that they'd like to host a meet and greet for me in Seattle. Again, I'm not 100% sure, no details or anything confirmed yet, but I figure if I get like a general consensus of if you guys would come or not, it would probably be sometime, I would imagine like later this year, this summer sometime. I don't know when or anything like that, but would you guys be interested it would be my first ever meetup. I've never done one before. And I've just, I don't really know why. I just always felt like nobody would come. That was my biggest fear is like, I'm gonna have a meetup, nobody's gonna show up. And then I'm gonna be like standing there silently crying in the corner. I don't know why I get that weird fear, but it's like my biggest fear is that nobody would come. And then I'd be like, wow, I'm a total loser. <laughs> it's probably an insecurity popping through, I'd imagine. If you guys are in the area, please let me know, like actually, if you guys would, actually come because I would love to finally meet you guys in like a big setting. Hopefully it could be like a long thing. Like I would even stand there for like hours and hours to meet you guys because meeting subscribers has truly, it's it like makes my life. I enjoy it so much. If you ever see me in public, please come say hi. I've said this before too and I will say it again. I have the bitchiest face. My resting bitch face is strong. I am exactly in person, like what I am like on YouTube. So I have been told, I hope that is the case. I am not rude. I never would be, even if I were in a bad mood or something, it's not going to exist. So even if you're like, oh, she doesn't look approachable. I know I don't, <laughs> please, I know I don't. I really don't look approachable. I wouldn't approach me. I look like a huge bitch. I don't know why. It's just my face. I can't help it. I've tried to fix it. I try to like smile. I've been told time and time again, my entire life, how bitchy of a face I have. And I've gotten to the point now where I'm like, there's nothing I can do about my damn face. Like it just is what it is. I am not the bitch that I appear to be. By the way, this is Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and on my eyes. And then this is Shima Shima. I have the palette sitting in front of me here. So it's just been really easy to just whip it out and work with it. Ooh, what's this one? Flamethrower, I think is what it's called. It's weird how I still remember the name of these without picking them up. Ooh, flamethrower. I think that's what you're called. Ooh. I'm going to an event tomorrow to meet up with some brands and just like have a good time or whatever. I was told today that there is a strict dress code and I was not prepared for that. I, I wasn't, I've known about this event for weeks, but I didn't know about the dress code until today and it's fine it's not the brand that has the dress code it's the place that the event is being held my husband specifically like we were looking and we were going through everything we have and we're like all right so you only own jeans and um i only own jeans and i just i can't guess i just i'm just too trashy to understand but anyway i'm stressing about that today i don't know what the freaking shit i'm gonna wear tomorrow i have nothing to wear um, I normally will just wear like what I'm wearing right now. This is like my everyday outfit. A t-shirt tied up and some ripped jeans. Maybe they don't want this at their establishment. Well then get a new establishment. I really love this makeup. I freaking am really enjoying cream makeup. I don't know what happened to me, you guys. I don't know who I am anymore. I feel like this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Getting older. You don't even know who you are anymore. Things change so much from day to day. Like if you had told five years ago, Christy, that I would be wearing cream makeup, no powder, I'd be like, not me, bitch, never will be me. Even, even look at me like two years ago, I was like, I will never be that bitch. And I used to be like, and I would even tell clients that when I was a freelance artist, they'd be like, oh, can you contour me like the videos? I'd be like, that's dumb. Like I was just 
ready to shut it down. I'm like, people don't do that in real life. Well, you know what? Yes, they do, Christy, and it looks beautiful. Definitely feel like there's a certain skin type that it's suited for, and I've talked about this before too. By the way, I have no idea what lashes these are, but they're very big. There's a certain type of person it's suited for, and that is dry to combo normal skin. If you have oily skin, I cannot imagine using a stick foundation and having it work and having it not just sliding all around your face all day long. But God, if you don't have oily, oily, oily skin, you might love it like I do. I definitely look like a greased chicken. And uh, some people comment that, it's so funny. So many people comment and they're like, somebody commented on my video yesterday and they were like, you know, I loved everything until you put the highlight on and then it just made your face look greasy and shiny and you just looked like a greased chicken. They literally said that and I was like, thank you. When I remodel my house, which is starting in the next like two weeks, I have one thing that I definitely wanna do and that is I'm gonna get new lighting because I really feel like I need to amp this up in this room that I'm in right now. I'm gonna have like a desk over here with like a really cute whole setup and like it's gonna have all my makeup in it and then I think I will have a backdrop like this for some videos where I don't want you to be distracted by the background but like chatty videos. Sam was saying as well, she was like, I think, I think for those you would be best suited to have have a different background sitting down and doing like a really deep talking video in front of this background just feels a little impersonal and I would have to completely agree um I also think I might want to get a new camera do you guys feel like my quality is good enough lately I just feel like I don't know maybe it's my settings or something I feel like I'm just not it's not as good as it could be let me know what you guys think about all of it or if there's anybody's quality that you really love that you would like me to have or anyone's lighting that you really enjoy or I know that I don't really care I kind of think I don't know like part of me really enjoys just a natural backdrop but part of me really likes this as well because it just feels more professional in a way so let me know what you guys think it's all about what you want anyway I, I just kind of will do whatever you tell me to do I'm at your I'm at your marse I put this lipstick on yesterday and my oh my was it ever beautiful this is the shade tiptoe from ColourPop with a gloss over top oh it is really beautiful. It's a little pinker than I would like it to be, but then I put some of my favorite gloss over the top. This is the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop, was, is the uh, Laura Lee Club. Wham. And it like nudes it out. Oh, Ooh, isn't that pretty? I like it a lot. Yeah, when I was wearing this makeup, the full face of Hourglass, which this is literally just like a full recreation of that. Like I didn't even change it at all. My husband complimented my makeup like literally 50 times yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my life. It feels really good to be complimented. I'll tell you that much. I think today I'm gonna set my face. I don't even know if this makes a difference, but I think I'm gonna set my face with the uh, Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Wow, I am shiny. <laughs> All right, my friends, and that is the finished makeup look. Uh, so something I've never done on my channel before. I mean, not even in my last video. Uh, but I hope you guys like this video, just chatting with you guys. I did receive my box of Glossier just right before I went to go film tonight. I didn't have enough time to do that review tonight because I have to get going, but I did receive all my Glossier makeup, so I will be filming that likely next. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, if you guys want to, you guys can follow me everywhere else, Instagram and Twitter. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you have, thank you so much. I'm almost at 400,000, so it, it, I don't know when I'm gonna get there, but watch my other social medias because I'm gonna be like tweeting about it. I know it's like not that much, like some people have in the millions, but this is a big number to me because that means like in 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna have half a million subscribers. That number to me is like, what? I don't know, I can't even just, I can't even fathom it. I will see you at my next video.